I know there's a lot of smoke uh, and there's no fire. She says it's Thank smoke, uh, but there is no fire here. Your thoughts? No, it's it's arson. Um, it, it's pyromania. It's, it's not smoke. I know there's a lot of smoke uh, and there's no fire. She says it's Thank smoke, uh, but there is no fire. No, it's it's arson. Um, it, it's pyromania. It's, it's not smoke. No, it's it's arson. Um, it, it's pyromania. It's, it's not smoke. Uh, even listening to her talk about the Clinton Foundation, I, I couldn't help but go back and remember the press conference she gave on her emails, Martha, where every single thing she said proved to be false. Uh, that's the interesting thing about credibility and believability. You can't just keep it in one compartment. When you are a habitual serial liar, when you are a habitual serial liar in this facet of life, it tends to make people not believe you in other facets of life. So when she's talking about the Clinton Foundation, I go back and remember her saying there's no classified information, I only use one device, uh, I did it for convenience, all of which were proven to be false. Yeah. Well my takeaway was this. Remember James Comey said she was not indicted because he didn't have sufficient evidence on the issue of intent. I didn't see any questions on the issue of intent. There's no question she handled them uh, negligently or extremely carelessly. He said he didn't go forward with charges because she didn't have specific criminal intent. I didn't see any questions on that. All right, she said she did it for convenience. I won't get down in the mud with them. I won't play politics with national security or dishonor the memory of those who we lost. I won't pretend that this is anything other than what it is, the same old partisan games we've seen so many times before. I, I get that she's frustrated. Her, her poll numbers are tanking. Folks who never thought about getting into the race are getting in the race. But she need not blame House Republicans for having her own a uh, personal server for exclusively using private email, for telling us the Sidney Blumenthal emails were unsolicited, and then we later find out that they were not, for telling us there was no classified information, then we later find out that there was, for telling us the public record was complete, and then we find 15 emails she never turned over to the State Department. I get that she's frustrated. Uh, sometimes when people are frustrated, they look in the mirror and they engage in a little bit of self-reflection, and sometimes they lash out and, and blame uh, non-existent right-wing conspiracies, and apparently she's chosen to do the latter.